approaching a Native American mound on the St. John's River here. Probably mound left over maybe from the Ice people or some other tribe. Had multiple tribes that moved up and down this river with territorial change throughout the years. But probably the last time any Indians lived in this area was around the time soon after the Spanish contact with the Native American populations, the French and Spanish and French contact. Try crossing over there is a little too deep. The camera would have been submerged underwater. That wouldn't have been a good thing. It's kind of cold out here, so I took the shoes off. Did not want to get my feet too wet. shaped mound, pyramidal mound. In fact, they were originally called pyramids. Just to see how beautiful this area is, the river here. Hot sherds and freshwater snail. Used to build up a certain mound. Some of these mounds served as temple mounds, some just kitchen middens. Others they would build up to place their huts on the mound. Textured pot sherds. This kind of looks like a stone tool here. Petrified shell tool or maybe a shell. These Indians lived out here. They had all they need gathered from the river. They hunted in the white forest here in the woods. In those days there would have been cougar running around and maybe even red wolves. Would have been the harsh terrain to live in. But these Indians knew how to survive. Out here in the floodplain of the St. John's River. Grand view. 